Hey, Google admins, uh, I just heard a question, which is in case if uh, a user has a consumer account with a corporate email address, what would happen if you assign that email address as an alias or the secondary email to one of your users in your Google workspace or cloud identity uh, account? So it will create a conflict, which means this user's email will be renamed to JTemp account. Uh, because you are claiming that email address as you have verified your domain, but I still wanted to screencast and you know uh, make this video to show you how it works. So as you see here, I have this email address. It is a consumer account, okay. And uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'll go to my admin console. I do not have this account created yet. So what I'll do is instead of creating this as a new user, which will create a conflict. I will go to alternate email address and assign it as an alias to one of my existing users. So I'll say this at my domain. Now, unlike uh, when you're creating user, you get a pop-up saying this will uh, you know, let you claim that email, but uh, their email will be weaned into GTEMP. When you add it as an alias or the secondary email, it will not give you any pop-up. So as soon as you save, uh, it just created that and now when I go here you will see that if I do a quick refresh this should be renamed to gtemp as you see here so uh, even if you add an alias it will uh, let you claim that email and the consumer user email address will be renamed uh, to gtemp now one more question which is kind of follow up to this is if you have added a user here user's email address as a as an alias will it prevent uh, to create consumer account with that same email address and that is also true and we can try it so if i go to let's say incognito window i'll say create google account let's try to create it for myself okay i'll say I have my own email address and if I say OMG idly it should say the email is already in use so it works that way too now in case if your plan is to prevent uh, consumer account creation on your domain using alias uh, will not be uh, a good way to do that because uh, there is a limit that you can create up to 3030 email aliases per user, so your option would be to either pre-provision those users or create a bunch of groups, or maybe to create uh, an email uh, filter rule on your server, and I have a separate video which goes into much details around that, I'll put it in the description. If that's your case, you may consider watching that. Uh, thank you so much uh, if you had this question. Okay, take care, bye-bye.